Alright, I'm back with a, another small Trek rant. Um, this one uh, actually is um, kind of an update to one of my other videos. I, I think in the last rant, the last Star Trek rant I filmed, I uh, said that if I was going to watch uh, another series, one of the series again, it would probably be um, it would probably be the original series or Next Generation. Um, well, I did watch. I did end up watching one of the series over again, um, but it was not either one of those. It was actually Enterprise. Um, I had nothing to watch one night. I put the first Enterprise disc in and I started watching it, and that was the story for a couple of weeks, pretty much. Um, <clears throat> in fact, when my friend was here in. Uh, uh, I decided to give the discs to him, uh, partially because I didn't want to be tempted to watch it again <coughs> and waste another, you know, four four seasons worth of episodes uh, out of my life. Uh, just yet. Of course I'll watch the show again, but, um, well, not any time really soon. Um, Enterprise is a good show. The, uh... The characters are good, the ship is cool, um, the idea of the whole thing being kind of new for the crew is really great, too. Um, and there's this, like, sense of camaraderie in, in the show that's kind of interesting as well. Um, you know, there aren't very many people on this ship. There are under a under hundred um, people on the ship, so it's, um... It's easier to know everyone, and everyone, I think, feels a little closer on, on Enterprise than, say, um, on a bigger ship like the, uh, the, the Enterprise, uh, or the Enterprise, uh, C, or D, sorry, I can never keep those things apart. Um, you know, the Inter Picard ship, the D, had, you know, over a thousand, just over a thousand people on it. Um, he probably knew everybody, but not as well as, say, on a ship that had 80 people. Um, and I'm I'm the first guy to give uh, Scott Bakula a hard time for being kind of a Shatnerian style actor, but um, you know, after watching it through again, he really did some amazing uh, amazing acting on that show. Um, particularly third or fourth season. It, it was it was really good. Um, and I really I really love how they clean up a lot of the things that you see in the original series that were unexplained when you went to the original series movies, right? Like why did the Klingons look different and uh, stuff like that. They um they do a real good job of cleaning all of that stuff up. Um uh, and and you know all the all the Trek series connect somehow, so it's 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 always really cool to see how they go together for some reason. Uh, and you got you get to see a lot more like really interesting stuff, like the transporter. Uh, their transporter was the first transporter rated for organic material, like the first transporter rated to beam um, organic matter. Uh, living or dead, and it was like experimental, but they got one on the ship, and that thing was a fucking death trap. No one wanted to take the transporter. It was like, we have to avoid doing that at all costs, you know, because it, it could fuck you up. Um, so, stuff like that is real interesting, uh, and, and you just... And, and and people change a lot on that show. You know, space exploration that far out was relatively new in that timeline, so, you know. Not everyone in the universe has the best intentions when it comes to Earth in that universe, or just other beings in general. So, um, you learn some interesting stuff about the Orions. You get to see the Gorn. You, they bring back a lot of, you know, uh, characters at least species from, you know, the original series, so you can see them, you know, maybe a little more how they intended. 
um, and stuff like that. I think it's just a really good representation of Star Trek. Uh, I've also started watching of Gods and Men, which is a fan-made movie, although uh, Nichelle Nichols and um, Tim Ross are in it. Uh, a lot of Star Trek actors are in it. Um, uh, the guy that plays Chekhov, whatever his name is, I can never remember. Um, you know, it's it's, it's fan-made, it's, it's lower budget, but, you know, it's really... It's really panning out to be kind of interesting. It's an hour and a half. That's long enough for you know to call it a movie, I guess. Um, and it seems it seems like it might be good. Getting ready to kind of watch the the third part of that. So maybe I'll do an uh, of gods and men rant uh, at some point as well. And I'm going to try and get out on the street some. I have rechargeable batteries for my camera now, so I shouldn't have any excuse to not have batteries for this thing. Alright, that's it guys. Bye.